Now, more money may be coming into the equities markets. The Employees uh, Provident Fund Organization, or EPFO, may soon invest more in the equity markets, is what we gather. And that is one of the top issues that will be taken up for discussion when the board of EPFO meets on Friday. CNBC TV 18, Siyash Chen, has more details on that. Yes, uh, good to have you on the show. What's the rationale for hiking investment limits for uh, this organization? And also run us through other details on the agenda for the board meet. Well, as you know, the EPFO currently invests about 5% of its total depositable income in equity markets through exchange-traded funds. Uh, the decision was taken in August last year. And so between August and April, it has invested over 6,500 crore rupees in exchange-traded funds. And the returns on the same investments have been about 1.5%. Now, this is better than the negative returns of about 9% given by Sensex in the same period. The EPFO board wants to invest more in equity markets. Sources tell CNBC TV 80 that the board will study a proposal to hike the minimum equity investment to 7.5% of its total depositable income. Apart from this, there are two more matters that are likely to be taken up. Sources say the first is to decide whether its existing fund managers have delivered. The board may also look at whether it should appoint new fund managers to manage its investments. The other matter which is expected to be taken up is whether private banks should be allowed to accept EPF deposits. This will be a big change because so far employers can open EPF accounts for their staff only at PSU banks. Uh, but I must point out that the board's decision will not be the final call. The decision will then go to the law department and if cleared, go to the cabinet for final approval before coming into effect. With that, it's back to you. All right, more money could be flowing into equities markets. Thanks, Yash, for all the details.